Hello beautiful wavy and curlies and welcome back to another video or if you are new here hello and welcome I am wavy girl Jessie and I have been impatiently waiting for today all of this week <laughs> so for those that follow me on Instagram or if you saw my post on the community tab here on YouTube then you would know that my husband surprised me on Monday with the Dyson. She came with the stand. She also came with a case and she also came with this. So today we are going to be testing her out doing a full first impressions. This past week since receiving my Dyson I have watched a couple of reviews and from what I've seen I'm expecting my hair to be shiny today and I'm expecting a quick drying time. I usually diffuse my hair when it is damp and that can usually take about 25 to 30 minutes so I'm hoping that we can kind of cut that in half because I've been getting sick and tired of diffusing lately. Now one thing I am slightly concerned about is this is my typical diffuser attachment that I use. It is really deep perfect for my medium to long hair whereas the Dyson is like this. Today we are going to test this one out but if I in the future need to use this one all I need to do is put this in here. That doesn't fit. I'm just told this is what I do. Okay. You have to push quite a bit so I just put this in here and then we have this. Okay so this diffuser is very expensive. I never never in a million years would have thought that I would own this diffuser but I think after wearing my hair wavy for over two years now and I'm diffusing once or twice a week in my case I really do think that it is worth it hopefully if it does live up to my expectations but I think if I was somebody that didn't really diffuse their hair very often Often, didn't really dry it very often then I really don't think that I would think that this is necessary or I don't think that I'd really want it. This diffuser it cost 300 euros directly from Dyson themselves and there was this offer on where the stand came with it for free so did the case and so did the little comb for in your roots or for straightening afro hair. Did I need the free gift? probably not but they were free so <laughs> I would say that if you are looking to get the Dyson keep your eye out for stores near you or on the Dyson website to see if there are any offers going on I know that on some websites they may offer that you can pay for it in installments so I think that's a really great option if you want to get this if you have that available to you here is the cable it is quite long and and the cable is really thick and <laughs> it's a sturdy cable. The Dyson itself comes with this diffuser attachment. The attachments are magnetic which I love. I find that super cool. This I think is just to soften the airflow that comes out of here and then we have two attachments for straightening your hair which I'm not going to use very often but I do think I'll use them every once in a while to straighten my hair if I fancy it. As for weight it's slightly heavier than I was expecting. I was expecting it to be feather light. <laughs> the motor is here in the handle so that's what makes it feel lighter. The weight isn't here so it's not like weighing down your hand or anything. Um, it has a filter here that comes off and I believe you can clean this. The on button is here. This is the button for the fan. It has three different speeds and then the heat as well. It has three heat settings or you can just turn it off completely and then it has a cold shot here. On my other hairdryer that I was using I didn't have the fan and the heat separate so I'm really excited about that, that I have more flexibility with what fan speed I have and what heat setting. Let's turn this on and see how loud it is. So, three, two, one. 
That is louder than I kind of expected. I was expecting it to be quieter. The noise is a different noise than I'm used to. And then we have, I'll test out the different heat settings. This does feel very, very hot, but I did read somewhere online that it feels hotter than what it actually is. And supposedly this hairdryer causes less heat damage somehow. I don't think I'd be able to handle the third heat setting. That feels too hot. We shall get started. I think I'm going to do medium speed and low heat. I'm going to pixie diffuse first. It is a bit of a pain that like you have to turn it around to see the buttons and to sort out what you want. Just put it on the two fan and one heat. What I want to know now is if I turn it on, does it remember that setting? <laughs> oh my god, that is drying quick. I'm already getting a cast. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I am a little worried that maybe we aren't getting as much definition as I usually see, especially maybe at the root, because this isn't deep enough for my hair, but we'll keep going. Sometimes my hair looks worse before it looks better. <laughs> Even with just the first heat setting, it does get quite hot. I think I'm gonna have to start using the cool shot because it's feeling hot. Maybe I'll just turn the heat off altogether, I think. Okay, so now that I've pixie diffused, I'm going to mm, hover diffuse. I do want to maybe try this in my root and see if we can get some root lift with this. Um, should I do that first? No, I'll hover diffuse a little first. Now I'm going to try this. Okay, so this one you can definitely feel the air coming out stronger, so I think you need to turn this guy off. Pop it in. So I do want to like, lift up my crown. Oh, I think that's worked a little bit. Whatever it'll hold is another thing. Let me tell you, my cast today is rock solid. I think I'm gonna carry on pixie diffusing a little more, but I think with this one, I need to take smaller sections. So maybe instead of doing two sections, I'll do three. One thing I keep doing is accidentally putting my hand here and that's like blocking the fan. So that's something I need to be careful of and get used to. I think my hair is pretty much dry. I think I just want to go in my roots a little bit again. I think we're dry. I mean, right now my hair is in a cast. I can't see any frizz and it looks really shiny. isn't fabulous. I really do think that I really need to use this diffuser. It has made a huge difference not using this diffuser. This was a game changer for me. So I do really want to give the Dyson another go using this bad boy to pixie diffuse and see how that works. As for the drying time, I think I diffused for like 25 minutes, so um, that's kind of the same as how I usually diffuse. <laughs> I don't really see any extra shine. Any volume that I gave myself with the hair pick has just kind of fallen. And as for frizz, I don't think we really have any frizz. I mean, we do a little bit, but I kind of fluff 
So in conclusion, I feel like something has gone wrong. <laughs> I did this same routine last week and had amazing results. Right now, honestly, I am underwhelmed. I was really expecting a 10 to 15 minute drying time. I was expecting it to be much shorter, especially because I diffuse when my hair is damp, not soaking wet. Every review that I've seen, everybody that I know that has a Dyson, loads of people on Instagram told me that it is expensive, but it is worth it. Well, I hope that I can come back with a positive update. So it is the following day and as you maybe can tell, um, I have done a take two. After I finished filming yesterday, I <laughs> was having a feel of my hair and even though I didn't really use much protein lately, I do feel like my hair had too much protein. So it really needed some hydration and I think that kind of affected my results yesterday. First First of all, does the Dyson dry quicker? I really don't think that the Dyson dries my hair much quicker than my usual hair dryer. Today I took about 17 minutes and I don't know if we're 100% dry. I didn't want to diffuse for longer because supposedly it dries your hair quicker. Today to diffuse I did use this from Gamma and this one just makes a huge difference. My hair needs <laughs> this diffuser. I can see we've got shine today. Um, when I touch my hair it kind of still feels a bit dry I think from my hair having too much protein but despite that I do think that the Dyson helped add some shine into our hair. I also realized that when using this attachment and um, the airflow is quite strong so I think that could cause some frizz. So what I did today was use the diffuser like this and use this just in my roots and hold it there. Um, but I don't think it added a great deal of volume honestly. <laughs> um, I definitely do feel like I need to carry on playing around with the Dyson. I think we can definitely say that my hair looks a lot better than it did yesterday. Comment down below and let me know what you think of my hair today compared to yesterday. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this sale of a first impression. My plan is to, if I still have the Dyson in a few weeks, to carry on playing around with it and find my kind of new routine with this new hairdryer and I will update you guys. I can't hide the disappointment from my face, I'm sorry. <gasps> Anyway, subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you want to see more fails like this on my channel. Just have somebody to relate to and I'll see you next week, hopefully with a better wash day. Bye!